The remarkable thing is that 70 to 75 percent of human disease genes actually have a counterpart in the little fruit fly. So we've learned a lot about many, many different complex traits in flies. Um, some related to stress resistance, some related to behaviors, some traits related to human biology, lifespan, alcohol sensitivity and resistance. We can often find results in flies that can translate to humans. We have a, a nice little device called an inebriometer where we will put the flies in a column into which has flowed alcohol vapor and the flies react to this pure ethanol vapor much in the same way as a human would if if he or she consumed too much alcohol. And in the language of the field, they lose postural control, turn over on their little backs, and fall down dead drunk. My collaborators on this project actually did this screen. And one of the really interesting genes that came up was this gene called malic enzyme, which has a human counterpart. We obtained DNA from unrelated individuals. We actually were able to genotype them for naturally occurring variants at this malic enzyme locus. And much to our delight and surprise, we found that nine of them were actually associated with numbers of cocktails self-reported cocktail drinking. When you're doing this day to day, you're not thinking about anything but telling the truth as the flies tell you. So I tell my students, you know, flies don't lie. You're not there to make discoveries, you're there to answer questions and discoveries happen as a natural consequence of asking those questions. And the most interesting ones are the ones that make no sense. Whenever you find something that you can't explain, you know that's the future to where to go.